Nico Sand system in Bangalore, India, on the first floor of a house. Ecological sanitation system separates urine and feces at source. So the pan looks like this. This is the place for the urine, and that is a place for the feces to go in. Of course. Once the deposit is made, you either wipe yourself with a toilet paper and the toilet paper goes in or you wash yourself with water. A bit of that explanation later. But once the wiping is done and the deposit made, you cover the deposit with leaves, sawdust and ash. And so, once the covering is done fully, you close the lid. The urine has gone to the front, the feces at the back. The trick for the washing is to use what's called a tippy tap, developed by this institute called GART. A tippy tap takes out 40 milliliters of water, and that's good enough for washing your part and soaping your hands. There, the water coming out it's through the small nozzle. The very water efficient device. The wash water obviously can go in into the box there the sawdust and the leaves and ash will handle that amount of water. There she is. The accessories once again paper if you're a wiper leave sawdust and ash to cover the feces deposit. If you're a washer, the tippy tap. The nice thing about the pan is that it can be taken out, lifted and cleaned and then put back. Below we find a urine barrel and a feces deposit box. It's an aluminum box lined with paper as you can see and then whenever you make a deposit cover it with sort of stash or leaves and so like that once you clean the pan you fit it back let's take a look at what's happening below how does the barrel and the box be taken out and cleaned regularly come with me that's where they are the box to the left and the urine barrel to the right and what do you do take out the urine barrel flip it out bring it out hey this urine barrel you can use that as a fertilizer either diluted or direct depending on the size of the plant the need of the fertilizer the box itself whenever it's full drag it out and so so if the box is full typically what we do is to put another box in its place close the lid it's got a nice handle to carry and leave it for about a week then we transfer it to a compost bin where it gets composted over eight months the toilet it itself has a rainwater harvesting system on the roof like so so the rainwater is collected and this is the water used for the washing ablutions part of the ecosan. Box, urine barrel, bottom of the platform with the pan details. The ecosan toilet itself and of course good reading material. Toilet dimension is two and a half feet wide and about six feet long.